cross infections and curing lights. Infections in dental practice can be transmitted by direct or indirect contact, blood, saliva, contaminated instruments, used devices or equipment, closed services by aerosols drifting in the air, etc. To counteract effectively the spread of infection, the whole range of barrier techniques apply to the instruments and devices which are in contact with soft tissue, bone and mucosa is developed and improved. Curing lights belong to these devices too. As regards the rate of infection risk, the curing lights are defined as semi-critical devices which are not in contact with soft tissues or bones, but in contact with the oral tissue, and they must be sterilized after the end of every procedure. The curing lights have to meet the requirements of Directive MDD 9342-EEC, the standard for analysis of the risks DIN N ISO 14971-A1-2003, and the requirements of the national health laws. Breach of these requirements leads to serious risk of transmission of microorganisms such as Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, Pneumococcus, M. tuberculosis, viruses of influenza, hepatitis, HIV, herpes, diphtheria, etc. The high rate of cross-infection risk during work with curing light derives from their design specifications. Complicated shape and big size leading to impossibility of sterilization, availability of light guides, often with a metal pot and not adapted for multiple placement and replacement. Frequent availability of fans provoking rising convection of the air flow in the operative zone and availability of protective shields. The most often met reasons for cross-infection are Contact between light guide and patient, contact between the shield and patient, contact between curing light body and patient. The breath of patient causes the contamination of the surfaces of light guide, its metal part, the shield and its rubber ring and the body of the curing light. A high rate of protection against cross infections is achieved by meeting the requirements of normative documents and suitable engineering decisions. The curing light LED Energy B is the first one meeting these requirements. It is designed with a special mechanism for frequent placement and replacement, the light guide, compact rotation body, which allows easy placement of protective cover for single use. The light guide is a monoblock type without additional transition elements and surfaces resistible to all types of sterilization. LED Energy B works in POTS mode. This mode and the application of turbo light guide with reduced divergency angle and black coating allows working without a protective shield. A hand protective shield may be used if necessary. The sterilized light guide is fitted into the mechanism for frequent placement and replacement. The curing light is put in a cover for single use till the sterilized top of the light guide shows a little. The protected strips are removed and the curing light is ready for use. During the procedure, only the sterilized parts of the light guide and cover for single use may touch patient. After finishing the procedure, the cover is pulled off the curing light partially. The cover and the used light guide are removed together. Cover is discarded in the specially appointed place and the light guide is sterilized for the next procedure. The curing lights of the LED Energy family have proved to be a trustworthy barrier against cross-infections. 
Their use eliminates the possibility of negative moral, juridical and financial consequences for the dentist, which may cause mistrust in his good name.